Welcome back everyone to my channel and in today's episode we will be upgrading our vehicle's performance. So as you can see my vehicle is very slippery with some very bad traction, not the greatest engine, but we have four levels of upgrade. Uh, well actually the first one is the default one, but if we would max this whole thing out instantly you will see that I have some pretty huge traction and some very fast acceleration unlike before. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first thing real quick, let's set up our widget, uh, which isn't going to be too difficult. It's just going to be a little bit time consuming. So what I will simply do, I will keep this very basic. I'm going to duplicate the same boxes that we already have, put one a little bit higher, uh, rename this text to be the engine because this is going to upgrade our engine. And also I will need to rename the text and I will keep this again very simple. This is going to be like level one. This is going to be level two. Let's have a space in there. And I'm also going to rename these buttons. And this is going to be the engine one. And this is going to be the engine two. Then I'm going to duplicate this button to have the level three. So this is going to be engine three button. Next is going to be level three. Duplicate this once more. Uh, whoops, wrong key. So engine four and level four. Then let's go ahead and let's duplicate the whole vertical box once more for the gearing. So our vehicle can shift quicker. And then let's duplicate this once more so that we can also change the tires as well so that we can increase our traction based on the upgrade level. So again, so this is the gearbox. And then we're going to need to rename the buttons. Uh, we're renaming the buttons basically so that we know which is which. So this is the gearbox one. And then we have the gearbox two, gearbox three, and the gearbox four. And then we have the tires, which obviously again are the button names will be tire one. We're going to have the tire 2, tire 3, and a 13, 3, and then we're going to have the tire 4. There we go. So we have our upgrade kits, and now we need to create the on click event for every single one of these buttons. So we need the engine 1 on click, 2 on click, 3 on click, 4 on click, and all the rest of them that we just created. There we go. So that's ready to go. Now let's go ahead and let's create ourselves a new variable. And I'm going to call this part index. Now we have, uh, this is going to be an integer. And now we have four levels for every single one of our upgrades. So go ahead and set this variable for every single one of these. So I'm just going to create four of these right now because if we provide these indexes, so we need zero, one, then we need two and then we need three and we can just copy all four of these and they will have the same indexes and that's exactly what we want because for every single one of our upgrades we have four levels and this makes our life way easier that way. So there we go. We have our indexes set up. Now we need to create the actual functionality which is going to allow us to upgrade our vehicle. And that I'm going to store in my vehicle master. So every single one of my vehicles that are using the vehicle master are going to use the same settings. So the first thing that I want to upgrade is our gearing. Uh, and basically we are going to upgrade our uh, end speeds. We might upgrade also our up and down shifts. Uh, basically you can upgrade any value and we're going to talk about that in a second. But first we need to store the default values which are going to be our engine kits level 1 which are going to be available by default. So let's go ahead and inside of our vehicle master let's get the gears array and then let's promote that to a variable and let's call this engine kit 1. There we go. Or we could also call this default engine I guess. Uh, that would work as well. And the next thing that I want to upgrade is my gearbox. And essentially I want it to be able to switch gears faster. 
and that property by default is here in the vehicle's transmission we have the gear switch time to 0.05 seconds so it takes half a second to shift the gears and if we will change the gearbox we are going to be able to switch gears a little bit quicker so again let's get gear switch time and let's promote that to a variable and i'm going to call this default gearbox there we go plug that in and now we have these default values set up now let's go ahead compile and save this and let's create ourselves a new function which is actually going to upgrade these pieces i'm going to call this upgrade upgrade performance and this function right here needs two inputs uh, the first one is our part index so zero till four and it's going to be the integer and that's the one that we have over here and the second one technically you could go ahead and create a enum if you have many many of these uh, upgradable pieces i have only three of them so i'm just going to call this upgrade uh, upgrade part and let's make this into an integer so basically zero is going to be the engine uh, one is going to be our gearbox and two is going to be our tires and like i said if you have multiple i suggest you create a enum for that so the first thing is from the upgrade part we want to do a switch on integer because obviously depending on the upgrades type we want to have something different and let's start off with the most difficult one which is going to be our engine so what i want to do is go ahead and grab the default engine kit and i want to do a loop for each and that's going to happen from the upgrade index zero so that is going to be our first upgrade our engine upgrade and for this let's go ahead and let's break the vehicle gear so this essentially will go through all of the gears and it's going to output their information now what i want to do over here is again get the gears so those are the ones that we have right now and then we can from those we can set array element and this is essentially going to change that specific gear that we are looking at right now through the loop so let's go ahead and let's connect that to the loops body and also let's connect the indexes so the array index goes to this index right here and now at the end of this let's bring this back because we're going to need some calculations in the middle let's break the item which is now as you can see it is requesting those uh, those data that we have the end speed and all that stuff so uh, i'm gonna keep a lot of things the same obviously you can upgrade anything you like but i'm gonna keep a lot of things the same so for example the downshift is gonna stay the same the high and the low rpms and also the torque are gonna stay the same i'm going to change the actually the start speed will go up uh, downshift uh, let's see downshift uh, actually let's upgrade that one as well so the end speed what i'm going to do for the end speed is i'm going to get the part index so since this is an input in the function we can just simply look for get part index and i'm just going to have like one hard-coded uh, increment and it's going to work the same way for all of the engine parts so what i'm going to do is simply multiply this integer with an integer and I'm going to multiply this or can we do with a float perhaps it would be better float with an integer and I'm going to multiply this like 10 times so essentially if this is index 0 it's going to return a 0 and if we click on the 0 entry it's not going to change anything for our engine but if it's it is a bigger part so if we select like level 2 3 or 4 uh, obviously it's then going to uh, multiply this so 1 times 10 or 2 times 10 or 3 times 10 and then from here we can do a plus vector plus vector and we can select the um, the amount that we have right now and essentially we are just adding uh, let's say we upgrade to level 4 we are adding 30 units to our end speed like so now for the up and down shifts uh, don't use the same principle don't multiply this with 10 because in the end it's not going to your make your vehicle that much quicker uh, because then you, it takes a longer time for the gears to get swapped so i'm just going to copy and paste the same code and i'm going to use this for both the up and down shifts or actually we need two of those for up and down shifts that would be better like so and then let's plug in the up shift plus the increment and same for the downshift 
but for the times 10 instead I'm going to use something like times 2 so it just adds a little bit so the gears are a little bit longer but they still shift quite quicker uh, because otherwise if they are incremented with 10 yeah, like I said it's going to take quite a while for the uh, gears to get to the position where they can be switched and that is basically all the logic that we need to upgrade our engine and now if we use any of the upgrade kits our vehicle is going to be driving a lot quicker now the second one is our gearbox so on the index one what we want to do is right click and we want to set our gearing gear uh, set our gears set gear switch speed so we want to set that and for this we need to get the default value so the default gear gearbox and for this we again will need to get our part index so we can get the part index so that we know which level it is and then we can just multiply this uh, integer times float and i'm going to multiply this with 0.1 because the switch speed at this point is 0.5 seconds so we can't really go really high with this otherwise we're going to run make this value go into the negative and we don't really need it in the negative we still need it to be in a positive value and there's only 0.5 seconds to play with so in the last level uh, in the level four our gearbox is going to be switching at only 0.2 seconds so more than half as fast as it did before and now over here, instead of adding these two together, we want to get the default gearbox and we want to remove from it. So float minus float. So default gearbox minus this new value. And then that can be our gear switch time. There we go. Now for the wheels, this is a little bit different kind of. Uh, so first let's go ahead and let's get our part index because obviously uh, different index means different level of upgrade and we want to do a switch on that so let's go ahead and let's add our four levels that we have and from here what we actually want to do is we want to store a physics material in our memory uh, before we can do that let's go ahead and let's get all get all wheels and from here let's just do a loop for each and uh, from here Let's just simply for now, let's just get the physics material and let's promote that to a local variable and I'm going to call this local tire. Now then we can remove this get, we don't actually need it and this local tire we need to set up on every single one of these switch entries, like so. There we go and once we have done that we need to select our wheels. Uh, now the issue might be that by default uh, it doesn't allow to select the engine content if you have all four of the wheels it's good if you don't have and you want to use the engine content one because for some reason it doesn't at least for me it doesn't want to show it even though I have it uh, and plugin content enabled just go ahead and add a wheel to your vehicle master and by default if you scroll down it will have the physics material tire which is living in the plugins folder once you click on the magnifying glass you're all good to go go back delete that extra component because we don't need it and then at that point you will be able to select all the tires so i'm going to select the first tire as the regular tire then i'm going to have a high friction one i'm going to have i don't know like super high friction and then i had that super traction that I made and now all four of these can now go inside of our loop there we go so now we are storing in the memory which tire we want to use and then from our tire components we want to get the wheel mesh so get wheel mesh and from here we want to override set physics material override and now our new physics material needs to be this local tire if you are making this for a single player game then simply in your ui garage now at this point you can get your as sports car and you can run the upgrade upgrade performance function like so so connect these four like this so we have the engine ones and then for the part index use the part index variable like this and the upgrade part in this case is the zero one since this is the engine and engine is at zero and do the same thing for 
the next four and the next four and it's going to work now if you're making this for a multiplayer this isn't going to work exactly so go ahead and go back to your vehicles master and over here create a custom event and call this multi well at least i'm going to call this multi upgrade oh, oh my god my typing skills upgrade car and from this then we can run our upgrade performance function like this plug in the part index and the upgrade part select the uh, event itself and make sure that this is set to a multicast event then once you have done this go ahead and create another custom event and i'm going to call this the same way except for this time the prefix is going to be server upgrade car and from this we can then run our multi upgrade car like so again connect the necessary inputs and change the event replication rule to be ran on server there we go and then inside of our ui garage instead of running the upgrade performance as the sports car we need to run our server upgrade car so i'm going to reconnect everything the same way because the values stay the same it's just that we need to run a server event first to make sure that it runs on the server and then gets multicasted across the network so let's go ahead and let's create another one of these connect the next four that are used for our gearbox and let's change the upgrade part to the index one in this case and then the last piece should be this one right here and this is going to be the upgrade part two now at this point uh, i actually by default already have the best tires available in my upgrade system so i'm gonna go real quick and open up my sports car let's click on the content sports car I'm select all the wheels and i'm going to change their tire to the regular tire that is on the upgrade level zero so now let's go ahead and let's test this out let me do this in a full screen instead so i changed my wheels to have the lowest traction so to the level one so as you can see my vehicle is very very slow and slippery but if we upgrade our tires to level four here we go better traction and now let's go ahead and also upgrade our engine and our gearbox and you will see the significant difference that my vehicle is launching super super quickly and also i have to be careful not to spin the vehicle around but as you can see here the shifting is also really really quick because we have it maxed out and also the engine is upgraded so that's going to be it for today's video i uh, hope you enjoyed it hope this was useful make sure to subscribe leave a like leave a comment all that good stuff and i see you in the next one